everyone welcome back to the Iowa homeschool mom channel today we're going to be sharing our May morning basket with you and this morning basket has a whole bug theme to it and if you guys saw our last video which was a homeschool haul you may have seen a lot of these supplies already however if you missed that video or if you want to see some of the materials that were not included in that haul please continue to watch all right so let's just get going and show you guys what we kind of have planned for the month of May for our morning time. Okay, you guys, so the first thing we do in our morning times is we do a family prayer, and then we move on to our calendar. So we sing our days of the week song and then our months of the year song. And then I just have the kids color in um, the day that it is on their calendar. And this is their highlights calendar, which this might be the last month we use it because the kids have been pretty rough on it. But we're going to see how long we can use it for. Alright, and then after our calendar, we move on to our movement. And this month, we are going to use the book Yoga Bug. And my kids love this series. It's uh, Simple Poses for Little Ones. And it's just too much fun. So they pretend to be different bugs in this book. Um, there's a buzzy bee. And then they do different yoga poses as they're pretending to be the different bugs. So we have a ton of fun using these ones. There's also a yoga bear, a yoga whale, and I think they came out with a new one uh, fairly recently called Yoga Bunny, I believe. So yep, that's what we're doing for movement this month. All right, and then to keep my kids' hands busy while I'm reading, I just have some stickers for them with different bugs and insects on them and I'll probably give them some paper and crayons as well in case they want to put them on paper. My toddler has been doing pretty good about not coloring on the walls so we're gonna try the crayons during morning time again. All right and then we move on to our Bible and this month we're actually combining our Bible with character development by using the big book of animal devotions. And this one has 250 daily readings about God's amazing creations. And there's lots of different stories in here that sneaks in little animal facts while teaching a character development from the Bible. Um, and it also comes with a scripture verse for each one as well as discussion questions and um, like a little synopsis of their takeaway message. And I was a little afraid that um, this book was going to be a little above my kids' level, but it actually worked out really good the other day, so we're going to continue to use it. Um, we're just picking out some of the different ones that are about bugs. So the bug that eats wood, so about termites. So yeah, this has been working out really good. And I highly recommend it if you guys have an animal lover. Alright, so after our Bible, we move on to our hymn. And this month, we are learning All Things Bright and Beautiful. So we learn a new hymn each month. We also review an old hymn each morning time after we've sang our new one. And this hymn is all about nature and how God created this amazing beauty that surrounds us. And I'll... Um, link below where I print off my hymns for free for you guys in the description box. But yeah, so we are learning all things bright and beautiful this month. For poems, we are using two of our most beloved poem books. We have Eric Carle's Animals, Animals, and then A Child's Book of Poems. And if you guys will notice, I have pages marked off. That's because um, we are reading all the different poems about bugs that I could find in these books. Um... And I'll just show you guys some of them. So you got one about butterflies. These two pages are about insects. And then this one's one of my favorite. It's titled Butterfly. And it goes... What is a butterfly? At best, he's but a caterpillar dressed. So cute. There's that one. There's a few more in there as well. 
um, a child's book of poems. I was actually surprised how many poems about bugs and insects there were in this book. Um, again, I'll just show you guys a couple of them. So you have the grasshopper and the elephant. You have caterpillar. To the ant, go to the ant. To an insect. And then we have my kids' favorite two pages out of the whole book. If you can't tell from the rips, um, but we have the flea and the fly for bugs. But yeah, my kids love all the poems on these two pages. And I don't expect them to memorize poems at their ages. They're toddler and preschooler. Um, but it is surprising how much they do memorize on their own. So for nature study, I actually just decided to use our themed books and call that good for our nature study. Um, so we have the Osborne Young Beginners Bugs. And these ones are great if you have an early reader. Very simple. And then we have an Usborne Fingerprint Activities book about bugs. And we did this one yesterday and it is a lot of fun. So my preschooler did the rhino beetles here. She made little spots on them. And then my toddler did a page as well. I helped him. See if I can find it. There it is. So he worked on these long, longer bugs here. Yeah, this one's a ton of fun. We did that one. Yep, there's that. And then we have Dr. Seuss's My Oh My a Butterfly. And I was a little worried that this one wasn't going to be good, but it is super good my preschooler loves it your classic dr seuss rhyming i know dr seuss books can kind of be a hit or a miss if you're looking for um like twaddle free charlotte mason approved books for your homeschool so there's that one then we have one of our favorites a butterfly is patient and this author and illustrator, they have other books just like this, like A Seed is Sleepy, A Nest is Noisy, and the writing is very well done, and the illustrations are just gorgeous. Alright, then we have... The Backyard Bug Book for Kids. And this one has um, a story at the front of it. And you're learning about different bugs along the way. Butterfly life cycle. And then at the back they have different activities. Here's some tracing work. Some matching. Identifying what is not an insect. So they learn how to count the insect legs. Uh, complete the pattern, counting, identifying uh, the different portions of the butterfly life cycle. So yeah, this one is a good one if your child enjoys worksheets, which my preschooler does. So it's been a really good one so far. And I also want to point out that we are not reading all these every day. We just pick out one or two each morning time. We have Are You a Ladybug? My preschooler specifically asked me to learn about ladybugs. We had to get a few of these books. Um, this like is asking, are you a ladybug? And then telling you what happens if you were a ladybug. And kind of going over the ladybug life cycle and different facts about ladybugs. And I really like the illustrations in that book, this book as well. Another Ladybug book we have by one of our favorite authors is Ladybugs by Gail Gibbons. 
So, like I said, we're big fans of Gail Gibbon books. Gail Gibbons books. Just another great one about ladybugs. And then we have Usborne, A Thousand and One Bugs to Spot sticker book. Um, so this will be a great hands-on one. And they have to find the different insects in the picture and the different bugs. And then there's also stickers in here for them to use with the pages. And it says which pages they belong to. Then we have our classic nursery rhyme, The Ants Go Marching. So this has been a fun one to sing with the kids. And I'm going to admit that I'm not the best with remembering to sing to my children. So having these kind of books do really help me. Because kids this age, toddlers, preschoolers, kindergarten, kindergartners, and even first graders, they really respond well to songs. We have another classic, The Very Hungry Caterpillar. This is one of my kids' favorite books. And it's a great way to learn the butterfly life cycle. And also it goes over counting and days of the week as well. And I'm sure most of you guys are familiar with this one. Super fun book. Then we have another Are You A, so we, this one's Are You A Dragonfly, and I thought this one would be a good one to kind of switch over into our next unit, which is going to be about ponds. So it's a lot like the ladybug one I showed you, but about dragonflies. And I want to point out that we don't do morning time every day, especially with the warmer weather. Getting outside is so important to us. Um, so we are spending a whole month on bugs and insects just because we won't be doing this every day. Another one of our favorites is Insect Detective. And this one has gorgeous illustrations. And it's a very entertaining story and while you learn about bugs and insects. Well, you learn, well, just insects, sorry. This one is specific to insects. So that one. Then we have, lastly, we just have a giant fold-out Bugs and Spiders book. We've had this one for a while. You guys can't tell. Um... But I just really like the realistic pictures in it. It is kind of dumbed down, but my kids like it. And we really like the big realistic images. So, so that about covers it for our morning basket for the month of May. If you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more morning basket videos in the future, please like this video and comment below to let me know. And also let me know what you guys include in your morning baskets. And if you guys haven't already, please consider subscribing and pushing that little bell below to be notified when new videos are up. Alright, stay safe, stay healthy, and have a great one everyone.